Welcome back. I'm your host, David. We're continuing with part two, pH. pH is defined as the acid-base balance of substances. And if you look at slide number one, uh, A represents the pH scale from one to 14, uh, with seven being the pH of water, which is neutral. Well, the human body is slightly on the alkaline side of neutral and the human body is 7.35 to 7.45. And if you look at B, we look at the uh, normal pH for the body. If you see the arrows on uh, illustration B, the arrows show the normal range for 7.35 to 7.45. And then the uh, arrows on the end of the line represent the tolerances on either side. So anything below 6.8, pH is considered fatal, where on the other side, anything above a pH of 7.8 is considered fatal. There are various acids within the body, acids and bases. The major acid within the body is carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is formed when carbon dioxide forms with water under the presence of carbonic anhydrase. For all practical purposes, think of carbon dioxide as acid. In other words, the more carbon dioxide you have dissolved in the bloodstream, the more acidic the blood. In this next slide, we show the predictability of increases in carbon dioxide. If carbon dioxide rises by about 10, you'll get a pH drop by about 0.1. So in other words, uh, CO2 goes up to 50, then you might see a pH uh, about 7.30, 7.32, something in that range. Works the other, the opposite way too, whereas a, a decrease in CO2 causes an increase. The pH in the blood is a balance of acids and bases, and so there's bases or alkaline components to the blood as well. The major alkaline component of the blood is bicarbonate and bicarbonate, bicarbonate is formed when carbonic acid breaks down and the hydrogen ion, the acid, is buffered. And the body keeps large amounts of circulating bicarbonate to act as a major buffer in the body. So uh, bicarbonate is the alkaline component. This slide summarizes for you some of the things that will affect pH in the bloodstream. An increase in carbon dioxide will drop the pH and cause acidosis, whereas a decrease in carbon dioxide will increase the pH, causing alkalosis. Uh, on the other hand, an increase in sodium of bicarbonate will cause an increase in pH, causing alkalosis, and a decrease in bicarb causes a decrease in pH, causing acidosis. Okay, you think you have it? Well, how about a little quiz? And here's the questions. What would a drop in bicarbonate or an elevation in CO2 do to the pH of the blood? Did you answer both would cause the blood to become more acidic or cause acidosis? If you did, you're right. Well, I hope you got it and come back next time for part three.